सॉल्व फॉर एक्स लॉग एक्स स्क्वायर प्लस वन इक्वल टू वन प्लस टू लॉग एक्स दे टोल्ड एस टू सॉल्व वी शुड फाइंड द वैल्यू ऑफ एक्स फर्स्ट द गिवन इक्वेशन इज लॉग एक्स स्क्वायर प्लस वन इक्वल टू वन प्लस टू लॉग एक्स नाउ ऑन दिस आई विल अप्लाई द फॉर्मूला दैट इज a log b. Whenever you have number before the log, it will go as the power, making it log b power a. I repeat, number before the log will go as the power, making it log b power a. So here the number is two. It will go as the power, making it log x square. Okay, now here base is not specified. Whenever base is not specified, you will assume it to be ten always. Okay, now here you have log with the base ten. Here you have log with the base ten. Here I don't have any log. So now I wish to get log here. With the base ten, now this should become one. For that to happen, I should put ten here. Did you understand, Seaman? Log ten, base ten. Whenever these two are same, this result is one. So final conclusion is, I replaced one with log ten, base ten. Now, this as it is. log x square base 10 now on these two terms i will apply the formula that is log a plus log b is nothing but log a into b whenever here you have addition in the result you get multiplication that is log a plus log b equal to log a into b So now, in place of a, you have ten. In place of b, it is x square. So you get log ten x square, base ten. This side no change, as it is your right. X square plus one base ten. Now log with base ten cancel out on both sides. So you are left with x square plus one equal to ten x square. Now all x terms one side and the numbers on the other side. What I mean is this x square should not stay here. So to remove x square from here, you subtract x square on both sides. So now it cancel out here. You have one equal to. 10x square minus 1x square is 9x square, so that is 9x square equal to 1. Now we should remove 9. To remove 9, you divide by 9. Here it cancel out. We get x square equal to 1 by 9. Now to get x, we should shift square to the other side. Whenever we shift square to the other side, it will become square root. Not only that, we should consider both positive and negative. So that is plus or minus square root one is one, square root nine is three. Now, x equal to plus one by three, x equal to minus one by three. Now, on x log is applied. On x log is applied, that means x has to be a positive value. That means we should reject the negative value for x and accept only the positive value. So this is our answer. Am I clear?